the Flourish projection map template allows you to make interactive maps of countries, counties, city boroughs, or any other regions. It supports two layers. The first contains the regions themselves, which in this example is the countries of the world, shaded to show GDP per capita. The second is the points layer, which in this visualization shows cities sized by population. The settings on the right give you lots of control over exactly how the data is presented, and you can also choose from many different map projections. Clicking into the data area, you can see the data for the two layers. In the region sheet, each row is a region, and one of the columns contains the actual shapes. You can click in to view it. In the point sheet, each row is a location with a latitude and longitude. For this video, let's clear this sheet and the circles will go away. To make a new world map, just with new data, I could keep this data sheet as it is and just join new data to it, as we'll see in a moment. I could also edit the shapes directly in the spreadsheet. If I delete the Russia row, for example, Russia disappears from the map. So I could make a map of East Asia, say, or the Americas, by just removing certain countries from the world map example. If you want to make a map that isn't already available in Flourish, you can just upload new geographic data in GeoJSON format. Here's an example showing Brazilian regions. I'll drag in my GeoJSON file and choose to replace the current data. Once it's imported, the countries disappear and the new regions appear on the map. In the settings, I can now choose whether to show those regions in the context of the whole world or just show the area in question. Here's another file showing the boundaries of London wards. If you have geographic data in another format, such as a shapefile, you can convert to GeoJSON using the free online tool at mapshaper.org. This tool also allows you to simplify your file before uploading it to Flourish, which will decrease load time and improve performance. Let's make a real example. We'll start by dragging in a GeoJSON file containing the countries of Africa. To shade the regions, we need to point to a column of numbers using the value column setting over here. In this case, however, my data, which shows measles immunization rates, is in a different file, so I first need to merge this file with the existing rows. That's easily done. I import the file, choose the merge option, and choose which columns Flourish should use to try and match the new data with the existing data. In this case, I'm going to use the three-letter ISO country codes. OK, that worked. All rows that successfully matched have now got extra columns with the new data, so I can select one of those to shape my visualization. Now we can fine tune the map. For example, I can set the color scale to be either continuous or broken into bins or buckets. In either case, I can fine tune the scale. Since this data shows immunization rates, I'm also going to reverse the scale to focus the reader on the countries with low rates. Next, I'm going to change the color scheme and make some other tweaks, such as adding a title and subtitle and specifying a data source. Once I'm happy with my map, I can use the options up at the top to embed it online, share it, download it, or to use it in a Flourish story. <laughs>